Hey guys, it's Rahim. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, smash the subscribe button because I talk about property investment, personal development, and how to gain financial freedom. For those who don't know me, my name is Rahim Ba. I am no different to you for when I started my property investment journey seven years ago. I was an accountant working seriously long hours in a job where I was undervalued, underappreciated, going nowhere. I started my property investment journey with just £2,000. I was able to build up to a million pound property business by the age 30. I became the first millionaire in my peer group. I did that by renting properties that I don't own. I distributed the profit I made from this business to grow in my property portfolio to a multi-million pound property investment portfolio in less than five years. So that is my evidence to show you I have something worth saying about how to change your thinking for better to generate income and build a million pound investment portfolio. Let's get to it. What I'm about to share with you will transform the way you think and enables you to eliminate your limiting belief and open doors to your superpower. So if you'd like to know how I change my thinking for a better to build a million pound investment portfolio, I'd advise you to watch until the end because I'm going to share with the step-by-step -step process I took to enable me to change my mindset from a scarcity, poverty mindset to a successful entrepreneur's mindset. Let's get to it. But before we get to that, I'd like to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel. The channel is growing immensely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you so much. If this is your first time for seeing me or you've watched me and you've not hit that subscribe button, I'd advise you to kindly smash that subscribe button now to join the family. And whilst you're there, smash the like button below as well so that the algorithm will push the videos to wider and wider audience. So do it now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. My promise to you is still provide with valuable, actionable content content to allow you to make money work for you instead of working for it. Let's get to it. What I'm about to share with you is the five step I implemented to change my thinking for better. The first thing I did is to recognize the negative patterns. What do I mean by that? It's identifying and recognizing your negative patterns. You see, awareness is the first step towards changing your mindset. So for me, I used to have this this thought of not being able to communicate effectively, having this thought about people will not understand my accent, having this negative thought about nobody want to rent their property to me, having thought about people don't want to do business to me because my color, the way I sound and where I'm from. So when I identify those negative thoughts that was going through my mind, it enables me to go to the second part. The second part was to practice gratitude. What do I mean by that? is to shift my focus from what I lack to what I have. I kept a gratitude journal and regularly writing down things that I am grateful for. I look at silly things like this, I am healthy, I can move, I can go to wherever I want to go to, and I was so grateful to be able to actually wake up in the morning, execute whatever I set myself to do. I look at people on the road, for example, beggars, people that are alcoholics, people that are struggling in their life themselves, and then I appreciate life so much and I thank God for allowing me to be able to think through what is good and what is bad in my life and also appreciating that I am alive and I can do whatever I set myself to achieve. Most importantly, thanking God and appreciating God for what I am yet to achieve, which I see myself to achieve, which I visualize myself to achieve. That then leads me to change number three, setting realistic goals. Creating achievable goals to motivate me, celebrate small wins along the way to build my my confidence and maintain a positive outlook. So once I started setting myself small goals that I am achieving in a small wins and celebrating those small wins and then I took it further by setting gigantic goals, massive goals. So you may be thinking how do I set my goals? I set my goals as if I've already achieved them. I look at my goal, I future forecast myself to see how I've walked into those goals, how I've been able to take step by step to get me to where I wanted to go and then I visualize the goal, I get the goals to manifest and guess what? I implement them step by step to get me to where I want to go and I did have headbangs I did have difficulties, I did have roadblocks, but what I did basically is to continue continuing, taking massive action and surrounding myself with people that, that would help me eradicate the limiting belief and the obstacles I, I, I come across along the way. Four, that takes me then nicely to what I've just touched into, surrounding myself with positivity. I looked at my inner circle, I looked at the people that are battery drainers, people that always criticize me, people that always complain about the weather, complain about government, complain about the news, people are always finding something that they could just complain about. I identify those people 
in my diary, in my friends or in my inner circle, I tried to literally win myself from those people. Obviously, I did not go full on winning myself from those people. I took it step by step. I used to, if I used to spend with them an hour or two, I start spending with them with an hour and I reduced it to 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes and until I eradicate those people from my life. And the next thing I did basically is to look for people that are positive thinking, people that are thinking the way I think, people that are entrepreneurial, people that are looking to be successful, people that talk about how to invest and make money and add value in humanity. So once I've got those people around me, I then take it a little bit further by surrounding myself that with people that are already doing what I'm doing and people that have already done what I've set myself to do so that I can learn and replicate what they're doing in order to, to take me to where they were. When I get to where they are and then I find another person who's already been to where I want to be and I obviously surround myself with those people, get to learn from them, educate myself on them and then be with them all the time in order to take me a little bit closer to my goal. Number five, mindfulness and meditation. I incorporated mindfulness practices and meditation into my daily routine to reduce stress and enhance my overall mood. How do I do that? So I wake up in the morning, do my prayers and I sat in a nice quiet room in my house, turn some little nice Buddhist melodies, stay into that zone. I start calming myself down. Once I've calmed myself down, I start doing that medit meditation by visualizing. First of all, what I do is to thank God for allowing me to wake up in the morning find three things that I am very grateful for, ask God for, for power and health and wealth. And then I visualize what I set myself to achieve through that year. And then I walk into those goals one by one. I'll give an example. Suppose I had a goal to acquire 15 properties a year. So what I do, I go into my visualization mode or to my meditation, when I'm doing my mindfulness, I walk into these properties one by one. I walk into it, I see myself viewing the properties. I see myself getting into the property. I see myself getting the builders into the work. I see, my, I see the builders doing the work. I see different trades people coming in. I literally visualize the whole process until I completely finish the renovation project. You might be thinking that is crazy. That's an absolute crazy. But once you visualize this thing, it ends up manifesting, becomes a real thing in, in your real world. It might not go exactly the way you visualize it or, or the way you, 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 you've dreamt about it during your meditation. But believe in me or not, 85% of it will be exactly the way you visualize it. Because what that happens, your subconscious yourself will draw a roadmap to allow that to happen the way you you visualized it here's an example when I started my property investment journey, I did not have a clue what I was about to do. I don't have an idea of how I'm gonna start, start my property investment journey. But all I did know, I've got this video, I saw that video, someone said you can start with little to none of your own money. I hacked that idea, sat myself, set a target of, of acquiring 17 property a year. I don't have a clue about what I, what, I, what I set myself to do. But guess what, because I've meditated it, I thought about it, I visualized it, I see myself doing it. It took me six months to get my first deal, but the rest Rest, I got there within the next six months. That is the power of visualization, power of mindfulness, and power of having to visualize a roadmap to take you to where you want to go. Number six, one of the most important, if not the most important thing about mindset hacks, learning from setbacks. Instead of me dwelling on my failures, I use them as a learning opportunity, analyze where I went wrong, make adjustments, and approach my challenges with a new perspective. You see, any failure, any setback is a massive steep learning curve to take you a little bit closer to the goal you've set yourself to achieve. So this is where lots of people give up. This is where lots of people say, this is not for me. This is really not for me. And they give up, they end up doing stuff that they don't want to do and then end up losing lots of opportunities and chances to become financially free. Here's the thing, if you got a setback and you learn from that, from that setback, it only makes you stronger, resilient, action taker and seeking knowledge and experienced people to help you take you a little bit closer to, to, to um, where you want to go. There you have it. These are the steps to help you transform your thinking, leading to more positive, fulfilled life. So now you know about these six hacks that I've implemented to take me from being a dead broke accountant to building a multi-million pound property investment portfolio. You know that now, if you don't implement, there's no difference between you who know, who knows it now, to the one who's not watched this video. So I really hope you would implement this hack 
to take you a little bit closer to your goals. I really hope this video has been helpful. If this video has been helpful, smash the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos. I look forward to sharing the next one. Thank you.